YouTube, what's going on? And today, the Don is hopping on a brand new game called The Casting of Frank Stone, set in the world of Dead by Daylight. So let's see what the Don can do here today to either get everyone killed or get everyone out. Who knows? Let's see what we can do. We're just gonna be playing on Survivor. All right, here we go. Let's see what's fun. Let's see what's interesting. Every choice made, every action taken has consequences. Some will save lives. Some will result in death. No, really? Frank Stone. My key. Yo, my key from DVD? Killer. Yo, killer from DVD? Oh my I gosh. I am Augustine Lieber. Whoa. And I'm about to change our worlds forever. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, see, yeah, go test the entity. See what's up. The casting of Frank Stone from the world of Dead by Daylight. All right. All right, bets on um, bets on DBD dropping Frank Castle as the next killer, right? Like, it'd be perfect timing, you know? You just had Dracula come out. I mean, they've been on a roll with, uh, what is it, licensed killers? So it's like, yeah, we know an original is coming. So this would be pretty cool to get him in here. I don't, I, the only thing is, is I know there's five survivors in this. Uh, how are they gonna add five survivors in this? Or are they going to do something like they did with the, uh, what was it, the Dungeon and Dragons one? Where it was like three teachable perks, and then you just have the different variations of it. Like they had the male-female versions. That'd be kind of cool if they did that, but maybe they can muster up, you know, 15, you know, different perks. Or, what am I saying? Yeah, uh, five times. Oh, yeah, 15. Wait. My math is right. My math is right. What am I even questioning myself for? I knew it. I knew it. I'm gonna say it, boys. Cars back in the day, so much nicer. Oh. I loved it when it was just two tons of steel coming your way instead of now the plastic that just crumples. Oh. All right, what do we got here? Uh, serious. I need to ask you a few questions concerning you and the dog or security for the mail. mail. We'll just go. I, I mean, this is the 60s questions. in Oregon. Come on I mean, now. I mean, what, what could honestly be happening here? Thomas oh, wait. Jefferson Holt. Call me Tom. Officer Sam Green. Tom, I want to talk to you about... I know it about. Oh, really? missing boy, right? That's right. You think he could be missing here? This mill looks a big place. Well, why else would I be here? Biggest in all Cedar Hills. But that don't make no difference. Ain't no funny business going on around here. Not undermining Merlin's noses. Uh, skeptical sounds like a lot of ground to cover. And what is this? Can I check your records? We'll do curious, because skeptical, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to ruin the trust of this guy. You sound confident. And rightly so. Okay, all Can right. Can I check your records? No records? The logbook, <clears throat> visitors to the mill, out of our shifts, that sort of thing. All right, right. Uh, well. All right, buddy, here's time to lock in. Someplace. What are we doing here? We're waffling at this one. Is that it? Uh, okay. <laughs> Allow me. That guy is nervous. Discovery, what do we find? I see. Oh, nice little boozer. Okay, questioning, nothing, notice anything suspicious, disapproving, been drinking, accusatory. Someone's been faking the entries. I don't want to accuse nothing. I, I don't know nothing. I know nothing. We'll just, we'll question. Have you noticed anything suspicious around the mill? Tonight? Tonight, last few nights, anything at all? Oh, nope, nothing. <clears throat> nothing. Nothing. Hmm. Why, heck, if you don't believe me, ask your boss. My boss? What's up with Big Boss, Sheriff man? Sheriff Kusich. Right. My boss. He saw by last night asking about the exact same thing. And I told him the same thing I'm telling you. There's no way that boy could be here and Merlin and me. So then why am I here? About it. And what did the sheriff say? Okay, Tom. And he got back in his car and left. Huh. <laughs> so nobody's actually checked the mill? Yeah, uh, that's what I'm concerned about. So what you're telling me is nobody's actually checked the mill for any sign of the boy. When you say nobody, does that include Merlin? <laughs> no, Tom, it does Holy not. Holy moly, what a guy. I'm talking human investigators only. In that case, Sam, I find it hard to argue with your assessment. <laughs> so what are you doing? Do you not do a perimeter watch? What's going on here? Look around the place? No objections from me. 
course, everything's locked for the night. It's not a problem. There's Merlin, of course. Of course. If you see him, tell him I'm looking for him. Yeah, yeah I'll be able to communicate the dog real well, real well. Thank you for your help, Tom. Happy to oblige. The police uniforms back in the day, dude. Look at that. Absolutely dripped out. Oh, units. Uh, doesn't look locked to me. Uh, guy said it's locked up. All right, this guy's boozing. This guy's boozing, dude. All right, what will people find here? Oh, hey, doggy. Hey, Marlin, how you doing? All right, what do we got here? Let me move around. Find a way into the mill. W A S and D. Oh, really? I would have never thought. Okay, he is a machinist. One charge assault, robbery. Okay, light work. Light work. All right, a mill employee got his job thanks to an endorsement from Dr. Lieber. Okay. Uh, you will not be able to return to the area. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's a pallet from DVD. We're moving it. We're going to drop it on the killer. Oh. Oh, I missed. Latency right there. Oopsie. Oh, hey, yo, vaulting. Yo. It's like from DVD and stuff. Holy moly. The cameos from DVD are insane right now. Tommy! Yeah. Hey now. Oh, hey! Merlin! Merlin. There you are, boy. We wondered where you got to. Dude, he looks possessed, dude. That's not your buddy. Hey, Tom, I don't Come think that's your buddy boy. no more. Dang, name it! <laughs> sure to like it if you two made proper acquaintance. God damn it. This is a mess. What are we looking at? Oh, we're picking this up with bare hands? Oh. All right. You put that's, this out for him? that's something? No. It looks like someone well, else yeah, I'd be concerned. Boy's heart through his stomach. If this guy's putting this out. It ain't possible. Merlin and me, we're a team. Who'd want to come between a man and his best friend? I don't know. Probably the guy that's feeding him. What's that? Some kind of wiener mate? Oh, perfect. Got a nice little ear right here. Gotcha. All right, people are dying here. Think that belongs to the boy you're looking for? Oh, uh, dismissive. There's no proof it does. It came from someone else. Unsettled, dismissive. I, I want to say unsettled. I don't want to be dismissive. There we go. Nah. Came from someone much older. A teenager, maybe. Take this. Use the radio in my car and call the station. Where, where are you going? You, you really think that boy's down there? I don't know. I it's hope not. Feeling, and it's not a good feeling. He is, though. <clears throat> hey. I'm gonna need you to take this, too. Make sure the sheriff gets this. Oh, boy, I don't know. Supportive or frustrated? We don't have time for this. I need your help here. I need your help here. I need your help here, Tom. I wouldn't ask if I didn't. I just don't know if I'm made of the stuff, buddy. They don't call it a higher calling for nothing. You gotta rise to meet it. You can do this. I, I, yeah. I can do this. Okay, I was about to say, if he's waffling at that. Hey. I'm counting on you, Tom Hope. Fate changed. You put your faith in Tom. All right. Let's see how that's going to backfire later on. Like, this guy's working second shift and kidnapping people and killing people. Like, oh, crap. Boom, hey, there we go. Five skill checks, let's go. I heard getting some achievements now. Yeah, no, he looks mentally stable and fit. I mean, one, how do you not see this guy? And two, how do you not hear this guy? I mean, guy literally has chains around him just jingling. Okay. All right. Stop. Oh yeah, that'll make him stop. Boom, nice. 
Yo, flashlight from like DVD. Holy moly. Boom. Oh, can I hit my target? There we go. Oh, dude, blinded him. Blinded the killer. Now I just gotta drop a pallet on him, dude, and we're set. That's nah, gotta hurt, just a, just a tad. Yo, he got hooked, like in DVD. That's crazy. Oh, wow, actually, I have a struggle on that skill check right there. What the? Actually, made me click it a few times. You freed yourself from the pipe. Nice. Oh. Yo, when are they gonna add a gun to DVD? Oh, see you, bud. Yeah, that's one way to go out, I guess. You shot from the stone and saved the child. Nice. All right, now what's satanic rituals happening here? What the? Yo, it's the entity from DVD. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know it's gonna get so just dry of a joke, but I laugh every time, and it's funny to me, so I'm gonna keep doing it. Yo, I'm on your roof, dude. Jeez! I think you guys gotta do your walls over. Uh, it's kinda coming apart here. You guys live like this? Gotta put these guys in the loony bin. What's happening with this? Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's a little overgrown here. Oh, I don't know what the construction was thinking about doing an upside down door, but. Alright. No, oh, still scratched out. Nice, nice. Wait, not like, like your mom or something? What's going on? Got some issues? I bet the house wouldn't be falling apart if you had, you know, dad around too. Holy moly. Your mom's leaving you, your dad's naming around? I... Jeez. Yo, is that scratch marks from DVD? Yeah, is everything all right? Oh. <laughs> Tunneled out, third hook. Please, that help, quite honestly. You can do this, Maddie. Just stay on the right side of the road. I mean, There's only one road. Right side is the right side. What? <laughs> uh, dearest Madison, your presence is required. Oh. Bruv, I ain't get to rate it. Is that a hitchhiker? I. Uh, that's what it would look like. Great observation. Uh, uh, I can't make a selection. Okay, so I will hit stop. Oh, hold on. What, what are those lights go off for? What are we doing here? All right. Okay. Not suspicious at all. All right, and we got, what is this, chapter two now? In the House of Darkness. Do we just go in? Why are you asking me? Cause you're a grown up. So are you, Maddie. <sighs> Average millennial con then, confidence right there. The Big Apple, the, the city that never sleeps. Home to the most beautiful of women and fiendishly desperate of men. Yo, so you from there? Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements. Like What? Who? The government. When they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, All right, hey, now it's getting interesting. I, heard I like what Stan's putting down. Just in case. And the CIA has got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute where they use it for enhanced DVD. interrogation. How do Doctor. you know all this? Look at this. Yeah. They're getting it all in here. And it pays to know this kind of stuff. It is kind of cool how they do link everything. It, it actually is kind of cool. We were so close. I want to know what's going on with this Murder I Mill movie, though. That's, I'm a little forced. intrigued. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. Oh, yeah, just him saving a child has ruined your plans? Okay, all right. To awaken him. Yo, a riff from Hunt Showdown. Yo, they're referencing everything. It's not even Dead by Daylight. <laughs> I just thought that would be cool for Dead by Daylight to add. I just don't get it. To have a Hunt Maybe Showdown uh, crossover? You think Dude. We? Mm, worth you it. guys want me to leave? All right, all right. On your feet, people. Everybody Get him a room, on. guys. What is going again, on here? We are going again. <laughs> hey now. Oh, hi, Mr. Green. Sheriff. Sheriff. Yo, that's our right. guy. Sorry. A little promotion How from the guy. Nice. 
to stay away from this place. I wonder what he knows about what's happened, because obviously we know one, he's alive. And two, he saw that happen, or did he pass out and not see it? I don't know. Okay, we'll have to fit. We'll, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Hopefully. Hopefully we get to go back and see like either what happens like right after it. Oh, a curiosity on Main Street. 1980. Okay. My darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No. <laughs> I'm just speaking from the heart. Okay. What do you need from me? Um, need well, some money. We're making this movie, and we're so close to finishing, but we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do. I don't like how it says nervous up above, but I could use 20 bucks. Just like 20 bucks would probably cover it. 20 bucks. That ain't pocket change. No, they it's got waffled at 20 bucks like that. You're afraid to talk to a drugstore clerk? No, I'm just you just don't want to How does this guy do act it? so confident I mean, and unconfident really at the same time? How does he do it? Money for my sister. Uh, encourage him, I guess. I don't this Guys are doofus. Well, I am pretty charming. That's why I love you. Mwah. Yeah, brother. <laughs> You're going to knock him down. <laughs> okay. Keep that up and his head's not going to fit out the door. <laughs> and you're already throwing down the L word? Come on. Whoa, easy there, mom. That's just... <laughs> it's kind of fast. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Excuse me, young ladies, but is there something I can help you with? Oh, hey, you. Hi, Robert. You quit working at the library? Ah, those are just volunteer hours. Now you're looking at an honest-to-goodness working stiff. Oh, income security is a very attractive quality in a man. So is access to book reservations. <laughs> no way we got so, a book girl here. Bad oh. news, good news. Super good news kind of situation. Bad news first, always. The bad news is they can't fix the camera. Ah, 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 ah. Don't you want to hear the good news? What's the good news? The good news is Robert Greene's working in the drugstore now. <laughs> uh, uh, we already knew that. Yeah, for like at least 30 seconds. Keep up with the times, Jaime. Gotta keep up. <laughs> gotta, gotta keep so, up. Wait, what's the super good news? Oh, yeah. I got some of these puppies. <laughs> firecrackers? Oh, yeah. Firecrackers from DVD. Money on those, did you? They're just like five bucks. That's a lot. Don't worry. Still got plenty left for the camera. You better. Curiosity shop's probably still open if you want to see if they'll fix it. Yeah, let's head over there. What's the camera for? Dude, we're making the most killer horror movie the world's ever seen. No shit. Well, we were, until your dad broke our camera. He did what? It was an accident. He didn't break the camera. He was, he was, he was, not you were trespassing. What? Okay. I'm not surprised. He's always got his eye on that place. He already kicked us out once, but I don't think there's anything on the planet that's going to stop our director from finishing her magnum opus i probably shouldn't be telling you this but there's more than one way into that mill oh really really no it's you just the front gate sort it out you let me know interesting oh i think this might be from dvd i'm not sure though sorry i just i get a chuckle I get it. it makes me laugh it makes me smile you know she comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm getting like so bummed out. <laughs> You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. 15 bucks. Okay, sure. I think that seems reasonable for something like this. I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me. Allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise. A new timeline. A new chance. <laughs> so we've got a shapeshifter on our hands. Oh, yeah, because that's totally cool and awesome. Me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty 
awaits them in the steel mill. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. You're here. Brother, dwell on it. We need to know what's happening. Okay. What in the CCTV we got going on in here? Vent overrides. What yeah, in the Marvel uni Cinematic Universe are we looking at? I see it's just interest in temporal machinery. What? Can I zoom in? I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, it's no secret, really. Um, oh, really? Then why? Why don't I know? Months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie... What was your mom's name? Both, or was it Bonnie Rivera? Yeah, it... How did you know that? You look just like her. Did you know my mom? Oh! A long time ago. A whole other lifetime. Her younger brother, Jaime, was one of my closest friends. Uncle Jaime, I, um... I never met him. I hadn't heard that Bunny had passed. Hey, hey guys. A little concerned there, Stan. What? I don't see anything. Ah, there, right there. Oh my God, there's someone out there. Can I not get an outline? Can we see a face, please? All right, we're back in the eighties. Boom. The Phantom of Cedar Dale. Use, use item, place. Oh, I'm burning calories to play this. Oh, Tom Holtz, the uh, the drunk. What a guy. Thanks, Absolute Thanks. legend. Wow. Learn that Tom stopped Thanks, drinking due to after. Sam's kindness. Wow, look at us go. Let's go, let's go. Time is money. Let's make a movie. Three people died here tonight. Guaranteed. Hmm. Now, what were you little ding-dongs working on? <laughs> He's got the murder mill t-shirt. Nice. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present the mill. Yep. There it is. I couldn't Since imagine there, actually having to build that, like, back in the day, like, you know, 40s, 50s, 60s time. That's why it's secret. I don't like this camera angle. Just not a big fan of it. Don't like this camera angle either. I'm all set. I don't need to see that one. Oh, jeez. This ain't gonna be good. Who's dying? No, well, we need. We know we're gonna be able to get right there because there's a box right there. And there's a whole just charred body. Okay, all right. Yeah, no, we're, this is awful. Oh, yeah. That's the furnace chamber, right? What do you guys think? I say we do it. Sounds good. No, I don't. Stop with these camera angles. I don't like them. I'm not a big fan of them. Huh? Yo. Coming? Uh, yeah. They're, They're dead. Right They're dead. They're gonna die. Okay, I'm not five. I don't believe in ghosts. You will. Ah, get off me. Get off me. Ah, get off. Gotcha. Not cool, Bonnie. <laughs> cool. That's what we were stressing out over. Nice. nice. What are you doing here? I'm part of the crew. <laughs> you don't need any help. Then I'll just hang out and stay out of your way. This is a closed set. <laughs> Apparently not. I'm the only one left who even knows how to work some of the machines. The rolling miller, the shears, the freight transfer system, said Frank Stone. Frank was the only one left who knew how to use the freight transfer system, and that one still suspended? I bet it never got searched. Not thoroughly. Ah, good point. What kind of police work is being done if we're not doing a full investigation to multiple kidnappings and murders? No way, it's a generator. Holy moly. Wait, that dude, it's DBD. Broken? Looks like, yeah. Hey, you just gotta repair it for 90 seconds. Let me take a look. 
They have me repairing a generator and doing skill checks for it. Installing two brand new parts. It's, it, I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. That's a hand in a jar. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Damn. Is, is that a... <laughs> yeah. They're coming in like that. That's awesome. And it's got friends. This is insane. And the police didn't check this at all? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Hey, Chris, go be with... Maybe we should wait outside uh, until Robert comes back. I got to do what I feel right now. That? Yo, chill out, man. I'll put it back before the sheriff gets here. I'm just going to get one quick shot first. Lock her up, too, while you're at it. Cool. I, I don't like this camera angle. No, it's the knight's ability. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what to say. I told you so? Like, what are we doing here? All right, so I am, though, confused. Is it this camera, the one that Augustine gave? Is that... The key, I'm guessing, that caused this. Okay, so it doesn't look... It's like an apparition. Um... Alright, both of us die, I guess. Oh! Oh! Hey! Oh, stun the killer, stun the killer, stun the killer. Oh, that came in clutch. Oh, uh, never mind. Came in clutch, actually. Never mind. That was a waste of uh, firecrackers. All right, beyond the gate, we have to figure out how to find this thing. Oh, we got a key. Boom, open this bad boy up. Mm. Yo, yo, what's up, big man? Hey, hillbilly. Hey, totem. That's a boon totem. Oh, grab this. Yep, there we go. Boom, pick up. You're coming yep, with same. me, buddy. Yep, come on with me, buddy. Boom, use item. Place. Perfect. Whoa! Got rid of the boon totem. Oh, okay. I'm just opening that up. Hammer. Nice. I wonder if it's from the statue of that little dude. Yeah, little dude. Little dude right here. Oh, muse item. One hillbilly and his hands. hammer reunited. Perfect. Nice. All right. Hey, we got a nice okay. little, Time nice to little obsession. That gate. Grab ball. Yeah. Oh, I thought this it was going to be gone. Oh, the, no. the, <laughs> the handle had me. I'm like, dude, we're no. so uh, easy win. It easy can't. win now. <laughs> What's going on here? Sheriff Green. What is he doing here? What an absolute Chris Angel mind freak. What is he doing there? Uh-oh. Back there, we, we, we were getting a shot of the, the hand and the jar, and, and Chris saw something that was only in the camera, but she freaked, and then there was this crazy sound, and the, the door was, like, pulling her, and, like, God, buddy, what the fuck just happened? That's probably one of the worst descriptions of what everything just happened there. I'd be so pissed off with this explanation. I'd be losing it. I'm gonna go check it out. You should get him some air. That's the stupidest idea I've ever heard. Do people like critically think in any of these horror universes? Like, I, I just don't get it. Oh. Just a good old interdimensional portal just opening up right here. Oh, hey, how you doing there, bud? Run! Run! Run, just go! <laughs> and she's sitting there with the camera up, just not, okay. Reload. Got him again. Boom. See ya. Can't wait for them to figure out how to use this mechanic in DVD. You know what I'm saying? What is this? What in the... What are we dealing with here? What the heck is this place? My question exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna guess, uh, what's her name? Chris is in here. This is where the portal went. But then what's... 
What was the point of grabbing her and bringing her here? What was the point? Yep, there she is. Okay. So what is this? You just capture people and bring them into this world? Is that what you're doing? All right, so it can teleport you location-wise and time-wise. So that's good to know. Is this all the different universes of Murder Mill? So she's just been collecting every single version of it. All right, so now we just gotta nuke this building. Is that the next? Is that the next step? I think it is. Let's do a little bit of arson. Do you see? The timelines I chose were special. The bleed strong. The entity straining against the edges. So how does she have power over controlling this when it's you know supposed to be the entity? After all, I only needed the most perfect versions of his essence, trapped on celluloid, projected at 24 frames a second. Frank Stone will be reborn. Okay, so because we killed him, it ruined her process. That's why she gave them that camera so that she can control that camera to get what she needed. Okay, that makes sense. There we go. Cool. Light work. Look how we're just breaking other parts of the machine to make this part of the machine work. Love it. Boom. See ya. <laughs> she, she goes to her place all deformed and everything. Now who's stepping out? Now who's that stepping out? Now let's see Linda come popping out of the door again. Let's see it. Be all deformed and everything, like... Oh, uh, guys, we kind of messed up the teleporter. All right, so now we're chapter 11. All paths must cross. We're in the 80s. Gotcha. Okay, she's got back. Okay, that's huge. We're not completely ruining the timelines just yet. Okay, Linda's here. There's definitely a better way to get her attention without... What is it? <laughs> What do you see? Stan, what are we sitting like that in a life or death situation anything. for? Oh, wait, that's what we found earlier. Keepsakes of past victims. All right, I'm not that stupid. I, I remember talismans. this. I mean, I don't want it. So, hey, hey take it. <laughs> no, I, I don't, I'm not trusting a pendant to, you know, protect me here. That we probably just gave him the token to just kill him. I the guarantee that's what it is. Maddie, I need to see the actual film. What? Where is it? Uh-oh. She yoinked it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. It was right here. It, it was right in here. Do you still have yours? Of course Stan doesn't have his. <laughs> Show it to me. Show me what you took from my son. I can't do that. You can't do that? I kind of... Sort of might have already made a deal with Augustine. It's over. I, it was before anybody else got here. I mean, he didn't know. He really didn't. You didn't know. How could you know? I swear, if I had any idea whatsoever what a fucking whack job Augustine would turn out to be, I, I would have asked for at least double. <laughs> And then I would have said, no, thank you. And See, the I thing is, right Stan, Stan, Stan has his moments. Like, it's funny, I dude. I was trying to give you the benefit of the doubt, Stan. Hey, you get what you wanted? You done with this fucking game? If she's had all the pieces of the film this whole time, why does she keep us here? That was a good question, actually. Murder Mill, chapter 13. Okay. Okay, so I'm guessing this is Frank Stone's perspective. Yep, there we go. He's coming up. <laughs> wind it up, wind it up. You almost got him, do it again. Uh-oh. I mean, the IQ here is... Oh, she's going to cut see it. You weren't winding it back the whole entire time? And hooks. I mean, we just got morons here. That's what we have. Bonnie, don't worry. You got two more of those before you're actually dead. Oh. <laughs> I just got third hooked. <laughs> All right, but if she's dead, then why is she here? Oh, different timeline. My bad. I already forgot. Oh, there we 
we go. So now it's like, he dead dead, or is it... Oh no, he's fully captured in the camera. And then she's gonna get the camera. Okay, that's what it is. That's what it is. Chapter 14, okay. The massacre. Oh, so people are dying here. Okay, gotcha. Perfect, all right. Who's dying? <laughs> Stan, where are you going, dude? In front, Stan, accuse. I don't think Augustine's going anywhere. It looks like Stan's trying to leave, so I'm gonna go with confront Stan. Now you hold on a goddamn second. That's what, what I'm the saying. Fuck, get off me! Do you understand what you've done here? Do you have any idea? Who cares what she does with this shitty little B movie? Just let it go, old man. You're a joke. And here's the punchline. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's definitely not the right, but but I don't know where he was going to run off to because he was already sneaking out. And Augustine's just going to lie to us. And now he's coming through the TV. Stan, get away from the TV, dude. Oh, that one was easy. Uh, it was definitely a possibility for him to die there, though. Oh, jeez. Uh, sacrifice yourself back. Sacrifice yourself? Okay, I guess. Why couldn't we all just pull away together again, you know, and get away from the TV? Alright, where's my help? I hope he just kills everyone in this room, actually. You know, at this point, I want everyone to just... I lost Sam. Like, I... It, it's over. It's over. And these losers didn't want to help me. It's over. I kind of want to go back and just fail the quick time event so that this guy can get eaten. Wait, 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 wait. Did we actually get the... Are you gonna run? Oh, <laughs> oh. So not only did he give up the amulet, he then threw it and didn't proceed to run during that time. All distracted. What? No, get in the elevator with her. Oh, jeez. No. Oh, Linda. Suffice it to say, one cannot make a proverbial omelette without breaking the proverbial eggs. eggs. Some of these eggs. We're not fucking eggs. You Thank you. <laughs> you cheated, manipulated, and, and now there's some kind of horrible monster hunting us. I have never lied to you. Give me a fucking break, lady. I can make your nightmares That's what I'm saying. I will make them go away. Shut all up. All this pain, all this trauma. No, she won't. She's lying to you. You just need to tell No, me she's just telling you half-truths, actually. Furious, yeah. Yeah, no, we're not doing just that. think it over. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> then I'm so very sorry for you. No, you're not. <laughs> there we go. Why don't you go up here to the grate? Are you kidding me? Oh, she's dead. Oh, no, we're just... Oh, big swing and miss from the guy. Big swing and miss from the guy. It's window. Just literally jump through it. You can you can rub off a few cuts, you know? Okay, I literally don't care about you, Augustine. Uh, where's Linda? Where's my girl Linda at? Yeah, what in the Stranger Things? What? Well, Alright, we got a little ripoff right there. Imagine he just kills her. Oh, that'd be so funny. Oh, that'd be so perfect if that happened. I bet. That's what you get for messing with my mind. <laughs> I humbly await my reward for loyal service. Unending. <laughs> yep, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, what a stupid idiot. <laughs> bye bye <laughs> And the entity got her. Yep, yeah, no no glory and honor for you. Yep. You're just the pawn. Okay, yeah, she's all bloodied up. Okay, they're playing the thing on the, pro the projector. It's in there, all right. Why can't we just burn the film? Thank you. 
If this film strip really is holding him somehow, destroying it completely, might just set him free. Yeah, but they don't know that, though. I mean, that's what you're supposed to do with anything occult. You're supposed to burn it. Yo, it's the campfire from DVD. Yo, another reference. Yo, it's Claudette, Meg. Linda? Linda, okay, so she got out. An endless hunt of fear and hope, pain and sacrifice, from which even death is no escape. And now, let the trial begin. <laughs> Imagine it boots up into a DVD match. That would be awesome. Entity displeased. Everyone survived. Oh. Oh, so Sam is supposed to die. Oh, everyone survived? Oh, okay. Uh, nice. I, Because it did seem like you were able to save Sam. But hey, we'll take it. There we go. Good stuff, guys. Hey. Uh, it was fun. It was fun. I feel like there's some lulls at some parts where it was kind of like just, you know, talking to talk. And I felt like some of the environments, there was like a little too much filler. Like, I felt like there was some rooms that you go into and it was literally pointless. But uh, I would say I, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I had fun. It was fun to see all the DVD references. I will say that. It was cool to see all that and then kind of flesh out a new killer and possibly new survivors. Oh, hey, after credit scene. Oh, the ring, the ring on the, uh... What? Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. So I yeah, that that at the end confused me. I, that I don't know. It, so is that like multiple timelines just kind of crossing to save her basically? Boom, there we go. All right guys. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching till the end. If you guys if you guys enjoyed, hey, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, ring the bell, and become a member today by hitting the join button or the first link in the description. Thank you guys so much for your time, and I'll see you in the next video, short or live stream. God bless.